this session we will discuss about stakeholders of construction contracts so they are the many stakeholders are connected with our construction field you can see on your screen like architect owner contractor subcontractor vendor engineer as a consultant and last one is lawyer so each stakeholder has the particular responsibility and the particular task for the completing the project work within the time duration so let us discuss one by one we will start with the architect architect's responsibility in the both phases first one is the pre project phase and the second one is the project phase what about the pre phase of the project in the pre phase of the project the drawing should be completed surveying has been done tender documents is preparing selection of the contractors and the vendors or the material supplier so these all the task has been completed in the pre phase project and the permission is also taken in the pre phase of the project work for example we are doing in the particular city area for the construction work if we are doing the construction work building or the apartment in the ahmedabad area so in the ahmedabad area we required the permission from the amc ahmedabad municipal corporation so the permission is also taken in the pre phase of the project and in the project phase the work mainly covered the responsibility of the checking of the measurement and the taking the certificate after the completion of the work and the preparing the bill during the construction work and the project management function and the monitoring and the quality maintaining of the construction work this all task are doing in the project phase so architect is the main stakeholder for the contract management now let us discuss about owner owner is a final authority of the work we can say the builder so if the builder are planning to do the construction work in the particular area he has the final authority of the any type of the structure and he has to manage the resources like main and the material and the he or she may be individual or group of the individuals so uh, owner can be public undertaking also for example we are planning to construct the apartment or any society so it may be by the individual or the group of the individuals and the, for example the road construction work or the dam construction work it has been done by the state government which means public undertaking so the owner has the final authority and the owner can be uh, by the individual or the group of the individual or the private or the public undertaking and the owner can change the schedule of the work can change the material of the work can change the project scope of the work and the schedule of the work can change the supplier or the vendor or the methodology of the project work he has a final authority of his project and the owner controls the project resources like the main and the materials and he is directly connected with the main consultant like architect structural or the any supplier so he can take the major decision for his project work and the owner has also arranged the maintenance 
for his building or any other structure after the work had been completed now let us discuss about contractor the contractor is completing the project schedule according to the contract agreement within the project time limit the contractor may be individual or group of the individual so uh, contractor may be distribute his work to the small contractors which which are knowing as a sub contracting for example the big contractor is taking a big contract and he is distribute his work to the small part with the sub contractor and the work had been done by the small contractor and they and they will inform to the big contractor and the big contractor will inform to the client client may be individual or public undertaking for example if we are taking the government contract so uh, i would like to take an example so uh, a big contractor is taking the road construction work between the amdavad to rajkot and the length is approximately 250 km and he is distribute his work in the five sub contractor with the 50 km length so the each small contractor with the 50 km length is completed by the small contractor and he will inform to the big contractor and the big contractor will inform to the government bodies and the financial flow from the government bodies to the big contractor and to the small contractor so these are this is known as a sub contracting and the contractor requires the qualified engineer to provide the technical skill for the construction work and if we talk about the bill or the financially management so contractor can apply the running bill after the completion of the certain portion of the project and the client has to pay for the completing of the certain amount for the particular work had been done by the contractor so this is all about the contractor and the sub contractor now let us discuss about engineer and consultant engineer is supposed to work as a consulting engineer with the client engineer or the consultant work as the unbiased arbiter between the client and contractor and he has to provide the technical skill to do the work within the time duration with the proper quality to the client and he is coordinate with the client and contractor and any other consultant so he will work as a bridge to providing with binding the client with the different stakeholders like the contractor or any other consultant so the engineer and the consultant bind with the contractor or any other stakeholders to the client and the engineer or the consultant are preparing the drawing and estimates and the report to the client for the uh, completing the project work and the progress of the work and the quality of the work so the engineer or the consultant is reviewing the project work or we can say the progress of the project work and the nature of the services can be classified in the different ways depending upon the project for example the small project work medium project work and the large project work the role of the consultant will vary with the pro different project work like the construction management consultant like the construction supervision consultant like the project management consultant so that will be very it's depending upon the project and depend up, depending upon the role of the responsibility now let us discuss about sub contractor supplier vendor so as we know the client requires the different stakeholders like contractor 
and the contractor may the distribute his work to the small contractors we can say the sub contractors because the within the time duration the big contractor is not able to do the work with his own team so he has to distribute his work to the small contractor and have to take the follow up from the take from the small contractor and the work had been done by the small contractor and the small contractor is reporting to the main contractor and the contractor has to report to the client so the contractor and the sub contractor working in our construction field so client required the adequate expertise for the particular activities and they and he and the client also required the adequate material for his project work for example i would like to take an example like the self compacting concrete in project work the client requires to do the self compacting concrete in the certain portion of the area so he will inform to the supplier of the self compacting concrete to do the uh, work for his project work for example the client requires so to do the ready mix concrete so he will inform to the supplier or the vendor for do the particular adequate requirements we can say the at particular expertise material requirements of the client will be fulfilled by the supplier or the vendor so thus the sub contractor vendors supplier are very important party in the construction project now let us discuss about lawyer or insurer a lawyer has a minor role in our construction project and but in the india the some of the construction firm which work with the, in the large scale area so they have the particular legal sale for the consulting of the lawyer specializing in the construction disputes and they are work to settle up the old dispute had been work with the different stakeholders for example the dispute between the client and contractor dispute between the contractor and the architect so dispute between the contractor and the structural firm so dispute between the uh, contractor and the and the other stakeholders so after the analyzing of the documentation the lawyer will settle up the all the dispute with the different stakeholders and claims the settlement and and they play the important role to do the allow the project progress work in smooth way so the lawyer will dispute the all the settle up based on the documentation contract tender document so the so lawyer will work with the documentation work now let us discuss about the communication matrix for the contract management so here you can see the main consultant which are architect structural and the mep consultant which is directly connected to the client developer builder and the project management consultant and the cost management are also connected with the client operator is directly connected with the client and here you can see the facility consultant fire consultant proof consultant geotech consultant interior designer and the acoustic and the av consultant are directly connected with the main consultant like the architect structural and the mep consultant and here the contractor will work with the main consultant like the architect structural consultant and the mep consultant and contractor is also indirectly connected with the facility consultant fire consultant proof consultant geotech consultant interior designer and the acoustic and av consultant here you can see the facility id services fls services which is connected with the operator 
in the operator is connected with the developer so in you can see on the communication matrix the all the stakeholders are connected with the directly or indirectly with the other stakeholders so here this communication matrix will help to understand the contract management and the construction work for our field so after this lecture you can understand the role and the responsibility of the all the stakeholders which is connected to the construction field so depending upon the construction so depending upon the responsibility you can understand the contractual management has been done in our construction field thank you